This is the reason why I think that Putin might not try to get rid of Prigozhin straight away because those um, loose ends need to be tied up and somebody will have to assume command of his troops in Africa. So um, the part of the troops that are in Russia, they might be sent to Ukraine again. And those who are in Africa and Syria will need a leader. And um, the problem would be to find a credible reader, leader, somebody to replace Prigozhin and somebody to whom these people will listen. This is why killing Prigozhin straight away wouldn't have favored Putin in the long term because of other operations in other locations. So maybe just for those purposes, Prigozhin will be kept so that he can control the troops until a better alternative comes up. Putin knew exactly which but buttons to push and uh, he managed to sort the situation behind the scenes and uh, let everything blow over. So I don't think that his rule will be undermined through this one incident.